Hey everyone, and I'm traveling to tropical islands in search of new adventures and testing my survival skills. I will spend a whole week on this island, and my main task is to find food and fresh water to survive. First off, I need to clean my dried up fish. My catch. Uh... It's small, but it looks twice as big underwater. But it is what it is. It's going to be a decent snack for me. Now I'm going to wash my fish, put it on the fire to cook, and won't waste time. I'll do something useful, considering that there's a lot of bamboo washed up on the shore. I should make myself a bed or a lounge chair. After the rain, these leaves are the best cover from the rain. Moreover, they hang and get blown by the wind, meaning they're probably quite dry and I can use them for my fire. There's a lot of very wet wood around, and that's a big problem for me. I need to be careful picking this grass because it's very prickly. Ah! 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 Did you see that? Mm. Wasps attacked. One bit my hand and another one my lip. It's very dangerous. I hope I don't have any allergies. It's very dangerous. Such a nuisance. Ah. You see, those are wasps and they're flying after me. Damn, I've really got myself into trouble. What the heck? Ah. Mm. This is absolutely crazy. I stepped on the wasp three times and it still flew away. It's surreal. Mm. It hurts so much. Ah. It's horrible, what a disaster. Ah. Mm. Friends, this is how I prepared the fish. Hornets attacked me, or were they wasps? They don't look like our wasps. One bit me on the lip, it swelled, and two bit me on the hand. I knew that if these bites were very poisonous or triggered an allergic reaction, my face would start to swell, and my airways could become blocked, causing me major problems. I don't know if they could be very poisonous, it could be dangerous to my life. So that's the situation. Damn it. My lip is swelling very quickly and severely. Look at my lip. It's a disaster. This is no joke. This is really bad. Just really bad. Ooh. I'm in a mess. I urgently need evacuation. This is no joking matter. Look, look at my face. Ah! 
The main thing is that my airways don't swell up, because that could cause major problems. The only option I have left is to climb back over the rock and hurry back to the cave where I left a small first aid kit after the bite of a poisonous spider. I didn't know how dangerous these bites were. All I could do was keep moving forward. This is crazy! This is serious. No joking matter. Need to hurry up. I don't know, but I'm trying to run. But I'm afraid that it might speed up the spread of this venom in my blood. It's very hard for me to climb up to the other side. Ah! It hurts terribly. Well, I must not waste time. Let's move on. I started feeling dizzy from suddenly starting to climb upwards. I hope it's not the result of the bite. <sighs> it's very hard to climb and it's very high, oh my. So that's the situation, friends. This is bad. I need to catch my breath. I can't climb any further. It's very high, very hot, and the adrenaline is making my blood pump faster. I know I'm not supposed to do this when bitten by a poisonous creature. The faster you move, the faster your blood moves in your body, and therefore the poison spreads, but I have no choice. I can't wait here. I just have to keep going. Now let's take a closer look at what really happened what I did and what I needed to do in this situation. So I approach these bushes and I understand perfectly well that in humid weather this corner is dry and various crawling creatures can hide there so I approached this place with caution and lifted this grass on the ground very slowly and carefully so as not to encounter a snake, centipede or scorpion there. Also, I noticed a hole in the sand, which means there were some burrows. I also paid attention to them, but I didn't consider the possibility that danger could come from above. I wasn't prepared for that. I indicate that the grass is dry enough and I can use it to light my fire. I take out my knife and start cutting the grass. As soon as I started to squeeze this grass, these creatures start flying out from it. Whether they are wasps or hornets, I didn't fully understand. But let's call it a hornet, correct me in the comments. One of them immediately lands on my sleeve. And in a second, all hell breaks loose. The first one bites my fingers, and another one immediately heads for my mouth. As far as I know, wasps and bees instinctively look for a hole to fly into during an attack like a sleeve or behind the collar. But in this case, it wanted to fly into my mouth. I managed to close it in time and get a second sting right on my lip. Ah! Before I could fully comprehend the seriousness of the situation, I start running, not noticing that I'm running away with a hornet on my sleeve. As far as I know and from my own previous experience, when wasps or bees attack, you need to run towards water. Run without looking back because they escort and follow you. I thought I had run a safe distance, but I was wrong again. I started examining my injuries and went back to get my phone. I looked at my face, looked at my lip, and at that moment a hornet flew off my sleeve next to my head. Carefully examining me, gaining speed, and attacking my face. I managed to dodge in time, swat it aside, and start running. Then I notice another hornet sitting on my phone screen. This time I realized I needed to keep more distance and run towards water. Did you see that? I reached the water and realized I couldn't dive because I had my phone in my hand. So I just went deeper into the water and moved as far away as possible just to be safe. 
I don't know why, but I went to the left and backed myself into a dead end. I guess my survival instincts were missing at that moment. When I had moved as far and as far away as possible, I sat down to catch my breath and assess all the damage and what just happened. I didn't know how dangerous this bite was, but I immediately understood that if the body has an allergy, my airways can be blocked. And this is very dangerous for my life. That's why I kept checking my face more and more often and how it changes after a bite. I think I was safe now, but at that moment I get another bite on my arm. Immediately knock the hornet into the sand and stomp on it with all my strength. I weigh 80 kilograms. After that, the hornet flies up and starts to fly away. A second and third hit, but it starts to fly away. And here, with all my strength, I surely make the fourth hit. After which it still takes off. This is some Terminator Hornet. I was really shocked. I stomped it into the sand with all my strength four times, but it just flew away. Now my only mission is to get to the cave as quickly as possible and use the first aid kit.